All right, people, welcome back. More card review. So today we are going to look at only one card. I know it's only going to be Greedy Venom Fusion Dragon. But uh, thank you guys for all the support on the multiple card review of videos. Um, the the 40 minute Junshishi archetype looking at uh, got 105 views, 9 likes, so very appreciative on that. But you guys killed it on the Predator Plant one, the triple uh, Predator Plant one. 342 views with 10 likes. I mean, I, I liked it. And no dislikes on either one of them. So you guys are just killing it. And, you know, I really do appreciate it. You guys know I put a lot of time and effort into my videos that, you know, I have all the YouTubers that you watch and subscribe to. You got to admit, I work hard, you know. It's not like, this, you know, I, I don't have a job. It's not like I'm not doing anything. It's not like I'm going to school. It's not like it's the only thing that I do. So, but I make time for you guys. And I'm glad that you guys appreciate it. So keep up the great work in liking and supporting and viewing the videos, and we might get to them uh, Dolans, you know. I think I might have to do a big review of those cards as well, and and I won't even get a little bit of a spoiler either because I saw them, but I didn't really like pay attention to them. So I think that I think that my reaction to them will be kind of natural unless I face them in daily duels, which I might. I might. So uh, we're just gonna look at one card today, which is Greeny Venom Fusion Dragon. So it's the upgrade of Star Venom Fusion Dragon. Okay, you know you got a. Uh, you got Clear Wing to Crystal Math. You got Dark Rebellion to Dark Wakrim. So why can't we have one for uh, uh, Yuri's monster, uh, Venom Fusion Dragon? You know, it just seems like we've got, you know, uh, Star Venom revealed to us and given to us, uh, you know, just a little while ago. You know, we, we don't even have it in the TCG yet. And they're already like, hey, here's the next one. So it's like, oh, okay. So uh, let's go ahead and look at it and determine whether it's a great upgrade or not. Because I can definitely say that, you know, Requiem, if you can summon it, really good. You know, Crystal Mass, of course, really good. I mean, whether you summon it properly or summon it through Ultimate Zizokin, it's so dumb. So, Greedy Venom Fusion Dragon. I don't, I, don't, I don't know what makes him greedy. He hasn't appeared on the TV show yet, this one. But, uh, like, really? Like, greedy? Like, I guess you're starving and then you turn into greedy where, you know, you're like so hungry that you don't let anybody else get any food and now you're greedy, I guess. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. It's just greedy. All right. Uh, it is a Dark Dragon Fusion Effect Monster, level 10. 3,300 attack, 2,500 defense. Those stats are amazing, you know? 3,300 attack, that's way more attack barrier. That's attacking our blue eyes, 2,500 defense, and nothing scoff at. That's, that's a fine booty that's at the attack barrier. So, so even some Book of Moons, you, they got to summon, you know, something stronger than a Stardust to run your blood over. So, that, that, you know, that's fine. Not that much people are playing Book of Moon anymore, but uh, the materials. Is one predator plant monster plus one dark monster with an original level of eight or higher. See, this that's this is the one thing I don't like is that I don't necessarily have to play, you know, PK to summon Dark Requiem, and I don't necessarily have to play Speed Roy to summon Crystal Man. How come I gotta play st Predator Plants to summon this guy? You know, like he's the upgrade, but. I, I had to play Predator Plants. One Predator Plant monster plus one Dark Monster with original level of eight or higher. I mean, the, the original level of eight or higher, uh, they probably assumed, you know, who's that? A Star Venom. But there's other cards. I mean, that, that part's kind of flexible. That's nice. You know, if I, if I ever want to, I mean, I, I right now don't plan on to, making a Predator Plant Ubel deck, if I have a Predator Plant and a Ubel, Fuse it up, bam, you know, there, here he is, you know, because Yubel is a dark monster whose original level is eight or higher, all three forms, so I could do that, but, you know, why? And if I fuse on a field, like if there's Terra Incarnate and I fuse with a Predator Plant, I don't get Ultimate Nightmare, you know, Yubel misses timing. Unless all of a sudden Konami or Robinson says, all oh, cards that say when, and now say if, which would be fantastic, that'd be, that'd be like one of the things I would love for Konami to do, because it's just unfair that some cards say if, and then some cards say when, and the cards that say when are just obviously obsolete in comparison, you know? Uh, but I would have to play Predator Plant. You know, it had to be a Predator Plant monster plus a Dark Monster with a level, original level eight or higher. So it's like even if you increase your level some way somehow, it ha its original level has to be eight or higher. That's that's interesting that Konami put that. You know, so uh, let's go ahead and look at this effect. I mean, the stats are fine, but hopefully the effect is awesome as well. So must first be fusion summoned. Okay. But it doesn't say that it can't be summoned any other way, it just must be first fusion summon. So if I do make like a Predator Plant you build at, I can fusion summon to this, and then it, when he dies, I could just keep on reviving him with my general revival cards that I play in you build at. So, okay. Uh, once per turn, you could target one face up monster on the field until the end of this turn, its attack becomes zero. Also, it has its effects negated. I mean, dropping your. Opponent's monster attack to zero. Well, it doesn't even have to be opponent monster. It could just be any monster. Uh, 
you just drop a face up monster attack to zero and its effects are negated. Uh, that's that's cool and all, but uh, I only read once per turn. I didn't read during either player's turn, so that affects only spell speed one. So, yeah, you know, like Dark Requiem and Crystal Math, their spell speed two with their effects. How come this guy's not spell speed two? I mean. Essentially, if I was doing it properly, I fused twice because I fused in a star of venom and then I fused with another predator plant playing another poly, which is even more neg, to go into greedy. And my effect's not even, you know, so let's be two. I mean, come on, come on, man. Like, I mean, the monster would still stay on the field. And I mean, if it was supposed to be two, crystal mass negates the monster, kills it, and then gains the attack. This would just target a monster and it had to be on the field. So if you play like. If a monster effect activates in the graveyard in the hand, this wouldn't do anything. In exchange, I get to drop your attack to zero to the, you know, till the end of the turn. And it, it even says till the end of the turn, your effect comes negated. So, I would, if this was supposed to be two, I would negate you, you your effect would be negated, your attack would drop to zero, but it only lasts in the turn, then during my turn, you would just go right back to your little stat. So, I don't know, I just don't like the fact that it's just like, oh, yeah, uh, effects are negated, and attack becomes zero, but only on your turn. Like, oh, okay. So... I mean, really, what am I negating? I mean, you would still resolve in the graveyard, so if I attack something like a Burning Abyss monster and negates, you know, negates attack, uh, I mean, negates effect and drops zero, it still will go off in the graveyard. It's only on the field when I negate. So, that's not great. What would, what, I would have to negate something that, like, I don't know, like, a Marshmallow or something? <laughs> like, okay, your effect is negated, now I can attack over you. I don't know, like, <sighs> sure, sure. Next to like, this card is destroyed and sent to the graveyard. Okay. You can destroy as many monsters on the field as possible. So I get to field wipe you pretty much, you know. Uh, as many as I want. I destroy as many monsters on the field as possible. Alright, so just wipe the field, sure. Then you can banish one level 8 or higher dark monster from your graveyard. And if you do, special summon this card from your graveyard. <coughs> okay. Well, once again, talking about that whole Predator Plant you bell deck. Uh, I guess I'd be banishing a form of Ubel, which generally I don't want to do that. So, I don't know, maybe this deck would have to run more than one uh, Ubel, each form of Ubel, to get the maximum benefit out of this. Because that, I mean, that effect's not terrible. It's just, it's just, if this card is destroyed and sent to the graveyard, yeah, you know, there's not, there's, no one's going to really out this with destruction. And if they do, it, it'll probably be through to Utopia Lightning, which, of course, then you can activate your effect, because, you know, this would go off uh, at the resolution, at the damage step, so, uh, pff, no, <laughs> you know, you probably end up getting cast out away, you know, so it only gets the effect when it's destroyed and sent to the graveyard, they're not going to Dark Cold you, not going to deck you, and, uh, yeah, you know, it's just, you know, maybe if you said this card is removed from the field or something like that, uh, and you get a nice filled white, better slow only at a higher uh, dark monster, which they're probably assuming will be uh, Star Venom, and then you get to summon this guy right back to the field. And like I said it's a good thing that it can, you know, uh, it's not like it can only be fusion summon, it just must be fusion summon first. So it's not like you can just, uh, you know, use something to send it from the extra deck to the graveyard, you know, and then uh, summon it back. You know, it, it must be fusion summon first. But well, once you do, and if you, as long as you have, keep on having level 8 or higher dark monsters in the graveyard, you can, and this card keeps on getting short, you keep on summoning it back, summoning it back, summoning it back, so, I don't know, I, in my opinion, I definitely say that it's the weaker of the, the three upgrades, definitely the weaker of Requiem and Crystal Meth, and, I don't know, I don't know, I mean, his stats are the highest, and he, you know, he definitely has a higher level slash rank, you know, but, I don't know, I don't know, his effects, his effects are much more to be desired for, I must say. So there you go. We do uh, Greedy Venom Fusion Dragon. We have so many more cards of you. Like I said, uh, the Ad Adolin multiple card. Uh, I'll get to it. It probably won't be this week. Maybe next week. Maybe the week after. I don't know. We got. We still got. We still got time. Get, and even even when all the channel changes come and all that, card review won't be going anywhere. I can definitely guarantee you that card review will stay because it's a simple series. It's an easy series, and you know you guys like to hear my opinion. That all these new cards. Uh, Especially with the, the ending of Daily Duel, so I won't be, you know, giving you guys uh, a daily video of me playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, you know, you're not going to be able to uh, hear too much about my opinions in life, so we'll, we'll, we'll figure something out. Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this card review. Tell me what you guys think about Greedy Venom Fusion Dragon in the comment section below. So thanks for watching, thanks for the support, and I will see you guys on Wednesday with another card to look at. Alright people, thanks for watching.